right guys let's save some history All right, guys, here's uh, some of the stuff that came with it. This is the uh, tail stock. And we got a, uh, yeah, I think that's a number three Morris Taper. Uh, it's a live center. Uh, definitely wasn't original, but that's nice to have one of them around. I'm sure we can make use of that. Uh, came with this homemade chuck key, which, uh, eh, you know, it is what it is. I think we could probably come up with something better than that. But it was there. Here's a drive dog, which must be three inches. Uh, be nice to have a whole rest of the set of these here, but I guess we'll have to pick those up as we go. And uh, this here, this is really handy to find. This is the, uh, the wrench for adjusting the original tool post, but there's a bunch of other things on here that use the same, the same wrench. In fact, right here, I think. No, not that. Well, anyway, it's a bunch of those. Here's uh, most of the gears. There's a few of them on it. I believe we got the whole set. This, so lucky to find these two items here, but here's the follower rest. And I don't know if this is original or not, this block here. I don't know, it kind of looks a little, that didn't look factory to me, but at any rate, that's what we got there. We got the steady rest, which must, Probably that could hold a five or six inch part pretty easy. Uh, it's been broken, but it's been brazed back together. Got the clamp, bolt, and all that. Uh, it's really dirty. Needs to be cleaned up, though. And uh, th this piece right here, if this piece wasn't with it, it almost wouldn't be worth trying to restore this machine, I would think. This is the, uh, the piece that goes into the gap on the bed, and uh, this is called the bridge. Everybody calls it a gap, but uh, this is what South Bend called it, according to the according to the um, sales brochure. Anyway, so that's the that's the gap, or uh, <laughs> sorry, that's the bridge for the gap. All right, let's have a little bit more of a look here at the lathe. All right, guys, here's uh, some chucks and face plates. These three items here, they came with the lathe. This one here, I, a buddy of mine, he kind of gave that to me, thinking I might use it on my milling machine, but I think it might actually work better on my lathe here. Okay, so this face plate, I'm gonna call it 14 inches, but it's, it's actually, it's like 13 and 7 eighths. It's kind of an oddball measurement, but anyway, so we got that. Got this chuck here, four jaw chuck. That's 10 inches, and uh, this chuck is 14 inches, so those are pretty hefty chucks. Both these are uh, four-jaw chucks, and there is a three-jaw chuck that's on the lathe. And just for kicks, that's uh, 10 and a half, 11 inches or so. It's a little hard to get a good measurement on it right here. But so that's what I've got for work holding. And uh, this here, I'm very happy that these came with it. See these, the toes on the, on the legs or the feet? Well, they're, they're broken off on the other end, but luckily we still have the pieces. So this can, that can be repaired. If they're gone, it could still be repaired, but it uh, gets a lot harder. Uh, this can be either welded back on or, um, I might take it to lock and stitch just so you guys can see how how that process works. It's pretty neat. They they fit it up to it and they drill it and then they drive screws in there and uh, they overlap the screws and they actually interlock together. So uh, I, I've seen them rebuild, uh, you know, the blocks and uh, great big naval ships and stuff uh, with that technique. Anyway, uh, let's see what else we got going on with this thing here. Well, if you guys like old equipment and uh, seeing how to get it fixed up, why don't you click on the uh, subscribe icon over here, picture of the old horizontal mill, and uh, check out these other videos that are coming up here in a second. And uh, we'll see you around.